Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. It's dry, it's bright, it's a bit windy in case you can hear all this noise. And it's about 10 degrees, that's centigrade, not Fahrenheit, otherwise I wouldn't be dressed like this. It's been lovely the past couple of days, apart from the odd rain shower, and yesterday the grass got cut. But I didn't do it, I have a man for that. <laughs> The garden always seems to look more tidy when the lawn's been cut. Hmm. What evil scheme is he planning now? I thought it might be interesting for me to get back up the ladder again and do a panorama for you so you can see how the garden has changed since the last time I showed you in January. This is how the garden was looking at the beginning of January. And this is how it's looking now. I'll get back up my stick every now and again just to show you how it's changing. I'm in the greenhouse again and you remember last week I left you with a buzzing noise. Well this week, no noise. And look, successful sticky death. I told you they worked and all with no added chemicals. Hmm, I recognise that silhouette outside standing on the pagoda. I know what he's going to do. Now there are some interesting development in these little seed trays which I wasn't quite expecting. Although I'm not entirely sure whether that's a courgette or a weed. It seems a bit off centre compared to where I planted the seed. But I'm a lot more optimistic about the signs of life in the leek tray. All I can really do is keep them watered and watch. I must be doing some reconnaissance for another evil deed. Oh boo hoo. You got up there, now you work out how to get down. This is my strawberry patch and I haven't really cleaned it up from last season. There's quite a lot of strawberry plants in here but I need to get rid of all this old dead vegetation. Parasecateurs, and away we go. I didn't manage these strawberries at all last year. I just let them do their own thing, man. And apparently, they only really give decent fruit for the first three years. But it's not a problem because if you've ever had strawberries, you'll know that they put these runners out. Here's an example of a runner and a little plant on the end of it. So what I'm going to do this year, because I don't know how old these plants are, is I'm going to pot runners as I find them during the season. And then at the end of the season, I'm going to clear the bed and plant all new plants. There we are. Not perfect, but an awful lot better. Now, while I'm over here, I'm having a look at this gooseberry bush. This is one I transplanted last year from another part of the garden and I wasn't entirely convinced it had survived. To me, it just looks dead. I really can't see any sign of life at all. No buds. Now compare that with this young gooseberry bush and you can see all sorts of little new growth and shoots. So I think the time has come, the walrus said, to take this gooseberry bush out. I'm going to start by chopping it into pieces. As I'm cutting through the wood, it's really, really quite hard and dry inside. It's definitely dead. No, no sign of sap in there. I 
I'm not going to throw these ties and these posts away because they'll come in handy elsewhere in the garden. Hmm, not much root on that. No wonder it's dead. Job done. Well, I may not have quite so many gooseberries next year, but it certainly looks like there's a chance of me having some blueberries, and my black currants have definitely survived the transplant. Well, that's all I've got time for this week. Thank you for watching, and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden.